bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. Uh, you are watching me in Heaven and Hell Life program, the one we used to do every Monday to Friday, starting from 9 to 10, 30 a.m. in the morning, the Julia time. Uh, we have a special message to treat today. Please, I want you to stay tuned. Stay tuned in listening to this message. Let's pray. Our Lord and our God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, eternal rock of age, we want to bless your name. We want to thank you because you are faithful, you are powerful, you are holy, you are wonderful, without glorified in Jesus' name. I pray, oh God, that this message that you will use it to touch the heart of people, you will change their life, you will save their soul, you will visit them. I ask you, Lord, to open the eyes of the of everyone looking at me everyone listening to me open their eyes to see the things of the spirit open their understanding to understand the mystery of your world thank you father in jesus name we have prayed amen the lord bless you in the mighty name of jesus the topic we want to make today is a very vital message a very vital topic that we need to consider seriously. We want to talk about uh, the revelation, some of the revelation I told you that I saw yesterday about the, the, the mark, those who have mark in their body and those who have tattoo in their body, whether you have a, there's something we call bere in Nigeria, in, Nigeria, in Yoruba, we call it bere, Bere means the, the tra, uh, traditional mark for, for power. They put it, it can be around your body, it can be in your hands, it can be in your head, it can be in your body. This are called mark. Mark. Before we go into the word of God, what does mark mean? Before I tell you what God is saying about those who are having mark and tattoo in their body. What does mark make? Mark is a sign and identification of ownership. Mark is a mark or is, is, is a sign and identification of ownership. In those days, they are always mark on the people who are slavery. When you are a slavery, they put a mark in your body that wherever you get to, anybody that sees you, they will know you are a slave. A mark is a great, is a great and very important significance. It's a very important thing in the eyes of God Almighty. And also in the spiritual realm, they have, had, they have their own spiritual, uh, spiritual, uh, what are they calling it? Spiritual uh, implications. Implications. In spiritual realm. Both in the side of God and the side of the devil. That's why this abolish of those days, they will tell you you should come, they will begin to mark your body with blade or with a knife or with anything. They will begin to mark your body and begin to place an, a, a power, they place a, a, a charm in that, in that mark. And the person, you will just say that they shoot, the person is not entry, they begin to do all that, it's, it's, not, it's not working on the person. They use it as a means of identity and a covenant into the, into, into the kingdom of the darkness. God himself, you see, this mark, I told you before, that is a, a identity, is a science, is, it has its own implication, both in the spirit and in the physical one. It's a mark of identity. It's a mark of ownership. And the two people who use mark are God, God Almighty use mark, and also the devil use mark. In the sight of God, I don't want us to go too much in the so that we don't we don't waste our time. So, in the sight of God, you will see that of the area because one of the area God took about uh, marking yourself for Him is the area of circumcisions. 
naturally God eating animal, touching himself with a knife, cutting yourself as one thing or the other, is a taboo to God. But God asked us to be circumcised in the Old Testament as any man, as a covenant to be a ears of Abraham. Be a ears of Abraham. So he said, as a covenant, I'm making it as a covenant. Mark yourself. And that is the only place God speaks about marking yourself. You cut it off, you know, you, 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 you circumcise your child. That is a physical one, which is attached to the spirit in the Old Testament. But mostly the devil also use it as also a mark of identity. Then we also know that in the spirit realm, there are people who have mark on their forehead. If you go to the book of Revelation, 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 you can go to the book of Revelation, you see that there's a place that God is talking about the mark. But this mark is not is not related to the mark of Christ, rather, but the mark of the Antichrist. The devil's mark I'm talking about. If you see in the book of Revelation chapter 13, chapter 13, he said, And he caused, let me come from the 15, verse 15 now. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast worship the kid. Verse 16, and he caused all both men and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand, a mark a mark in their right hand on or in their forehead and that no man might buy or sell save he that are the mark or the names of the beast or the number of of his name here is wisdom let him that has understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six that's the mark of the beast. So we got to know that Satan too is going to break the covenant of God. The covenant that is between God and man. He's going to break it through mark. So according to what we just read now, it shows to us that there is a covenant between man and God. And Satan is going to use us to mark to break it. So that is how serious it is. He's going to use Mark to break that covenant. The covenant that Jesus Christ suffered for on the cross of Calvary, that he was dead, he was killed, he was crucified. The devil is also going to use Mark to destroy them. And when any man receives this Mark, this any man that received the Mark, the covenant will be totally turned off from his life. And it will be ever, everlasting, I mean, eternally damned and destroyed. It means when they ask for mercy, no mercy. When they say, Father, forgive me, no forgiveness. It will be removed totally from the inheritance of God, from the God's children, and the covenant of God will be removed completely from his life. True Mark. So I'm coming now, I'm just explaining, I'm just coming. Another thing is that the Bible also let us know that he also used to mark his own children in the spirit. That's the physical aspect and also the spiritual aspect of the devil's side. The God also usually marked his own children too in the spirit. Galatians chapter 6. If you open to Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6. Galatians 6. Galatians 6. Chapter 
the Galatians chapter 6, verse 6. Yes. Galatians chapter 6. It says, Touch me not for I bear the mark of Christ in my body. Yes, I've seen it. Verse 17. Verse 17. Verse 17. From Enfold. If you see it there, I'm so sure you might be seeing me that sometime when I tell you that open the galaxy or open a particular passage, I'll be searching it because I didn't write it down. I don't used to write message down. I'm not used to it. I hear and I tell you. Topic, whatsoever topic I want to teach, whatsoever thing I want to say, I don't write them down. I only, I might, I might write topic down, probably if there is, there are many, God is giving me many messages. But when you teach, I might be teaching, you will be surprised that I didn't write them down. But when I'm teaching, you'll be giving me the, the Bible verse from he himself, will be telling me. He'll be telling me from here, from here, read from here, from here, from here. To God bless you in Jesus' name. So if you look at Galatians chapter 6, verse 17, he said, from end forth, See, now, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus. You see that? For I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. It means there is a spiritual mark that is attached to every Christian that makes the devil not to touch you. See, I'm coming, I'm still coming in that area. That makes the devil not to be able to touch you. Now, in the book of Leviticus, Le, 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 Leviticus, 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 chapter 19, chapter 19, chapter 19, chapter 19, please. It should be around verses 28, verses 28, verses 28. Leviticus chapter 19, verses 28. Okay. Leviticus 19.28, he talk about, yes. Yes. He said, listen to me. He said, yes, I not make any cutting in your flesh for the dead, nor print any mark upon you. I am the Lord. You see it? Listen to it very well. He said, Ye shall not make any cutting in your flesh for the dead, nor print any mark upon you. I am the Lord. Because God knows that there is a very important meaning whenever you mark yourself, whenever you put tattoo in your body. So there is a dangerous implications and repercussions that may follow it. Which can lead totally domination to any man. But it's so pity that many Christians now, they have the mark already in their body. We have some people that they grew up, they saw that they already put, they are putting travel mark into them. Travel mark. They will say, ah, this is how they wish to do it in every children. We should put travel mark in on them to identify that they are the children of this community. It is a demonic practice. Which can lead Christian to hell. The Bible says you shall not mark yourself because there is a mark, there is a covenant that attached to it. So, as person who attacked you, they are one of the things that is going to happen in the end time is that all the people who have tattoo in their body, their tattoo will begin to manifest as a man. And they will turn to it, they will talk to the image of the Antichrist. I'm not going to that place now. God ate tattoo or mark. Whether you put a mark on your something, or it is a abolished mark, or it is a whatsoever mark it might be, or was I don't want to know the kind of mark it might be, whatsoever mark it might be. 
God it mark because there is a demonic thing that is attached to mark on your body any mark that is in your body that god didn't place there that it is man, man that placed it there or it is for one reason for one incantation on one the other the demons attached are attached to it that is why you see yourself being attacked you will see a christian who is living a holy life carefully serving god but we always be attacked with sickness. Always be attacked with one thing or the other. Always be attacked with one problem or the other. It is because of the mark of the devil on your body. So the devil is using it as a means of attack into your life. As a means of come, as a means of a loop oh, whereby it can penetrate and destroy your life. A, a means to encard your life. A means to penetrate into your life. And if rapture take place and you didn't do the necessity, if rapture take place and you did not do the necessity before rapture take place, you might not go to heaven. Don't forget, for no unclean things, we by any means enter the kingdom of heaven. For no unclean things we by any means enter the kingdom of heaven. And that means one side you have disobeyed God. On one side you are guilty. What are you going to do? There are many things the devil is going to use against you whenever there is a mark in your body. He will use it to penetrate into your life. He will use it to afflict you with sorrow and sickness, you shall afflicted you in, the, in your dream, in your physical life, in your business, in every area, it will be afflicting you. It will be used as a loophole. And not only that, the mark of Christ, even though it's in your body, there will be a conflict. There will be a conflict. The Bible says the flesh will rest you against the spirit, and the spirit will rest you against the flesh. There will be a conflict. That is, if it is in your body, what are you going to do? Now, the solution for all these things is this. As a child of God, you probably, you might have gotten the tattoo from a, a for, for maybe when you are in the scene, or probably when uh, you are, you, 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 you just saw it in your body when you gave, they gave back to you in one way or the other. That is what you're going to do. You need to go for deliverance. There was a particular, is it a brother or sister that I heard a story or is it, or, 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 sorry, a pastor prayed for, he, 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 he prayed for his deliverance on, on herself first, then the pastor now prayed for her and the tattoo began to disappear on his, on, 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 the, on her body. It began to disappear. It was a marvelous thing. Let me tell you something, if you think the tattoo cannot be moved, it can remove. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. It can be removed. God loves to in God loves to come in where it is difficult. If the Bible says if you have faith, like a monster said. Jesus was walking on the water, and Peter said, Sir, if truly you are the our Lord, can you command me to come now with you and walk also on the water? And God said, Come. And the Bible says he walked on the water. Peter to walk on the water. But when, when he was afraid, because of the wind and the storm on that water, he was afraid. What happened? The Bible says begin to sink. So if you are afraid that that thing can be removed, not only remove the covenant that is attached to that thing, you know it's your blood. You see, the mark of the beast have to do with your blood. Have to do with also Jesus Christ. That's why I told you that it's not good for you to accept the blood, blood donations. Not only that, Antichrist. I mean, ah, uh, COVID nineteen vaccination. So because it 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 it, it, it afflicted your blood, it corrupt your blood. There's a feeling that is going viral now about those who have accepted vaccine. If you see what is happening to them, in fact, we pity them. They are just dying. Anyhow, they will begin to look back like this. 
and then we died there immediately. But when we are shouting on this, don't collect it, don't collect it. People did not listen. I pray you will not go to hell in Jesus' name. One, if you know there's a mark on your body, whether you know it or not, you need deliverance. Then you need to break that covenant that is being made with you. Breaking it by the blood of the Lamb. So you have solution. Breaking it by the blood of the Lamb and ask Jesus Christ to wash them out and make them disappear out of your body. And go and do it. I pray that Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the message I saw yesterday. I saw the Lord was showing me a woman. Who, who marked all the, the woman. I saw the woman mark a, a, a stomach. I said, Lord, what is this? And he marked a stomach. And was telling me that anyone that has mark on their body will not make it to them. So I want to plead with you that you should uh, you should ask for the blood of Jesus Christ to destroy every covenant and to cleanse all the mark in your body. And don't forget, I want to tell you something. I have warned you before, and I will keep warning you. I have warned you before, and I will keep warning you. Please and please leave white country. I'm going to prayer camp. Leave the white country and come to prayer camp. Leave the white country and come to prayer camp. Something that is something is about to happen there that is more than your knowledge. If, if possible, let the white people who are born there leave the country. And come to prayer camp. Something is about to happen all over the world, and God has placed His mark on His beloved children for, 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 for them to be saved for the end. If you are not in the prayer camp, I don't know what is going to happen to you. This is an instruction God says, as we warn you. God bless you and God be with you. Don't just go without subscribing, subscribe to the channel, uh, press the notification button. Share it to every of your friends and every of your family and every of your people. And I pray the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and God be with you. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.